how you plot and scheme to win your lovers. Even an experienced prostitute could learn from you. But why should I punish them for their prostitution and adultery? For your men are doing the same thing, sinning with whores and shrine prostitutes. Oh foolish people, you refuse to understand, so you will be destroyed. And so she prostituted herself with the most desirable men of Assyria, worshipping their idols and defiling herself. What are you doing, you who have been plundered? Why do you dress up in beautiful clothing and put on gold jewelry? Why do you brighten your eyes with mascara? Your primping will do you no good. The allies who were your lovers despise you and seek to kill you. I am your enemy, says the master of heaven's armies. And now I will lift your skirts and show all the earth your nakedness and shame. But now bring charges against Israel your mother for she is no longer my wife, and I am no longer her husband. Tell her to remove the prostitutes. Make up from her face and the clothing that exposes her breasts. What sorrow awaits you? Who make your neighbors drunk? You force your cup on them so you can gloat over their shameful nakedness. Dear friends, I warn you as temporary residents and foreigners too. Keep away from worldly desires that wage war against your very souls. They defiled themselves by their evil deeds, and their love of idols was adultery in the master's sight. So the angel took me in the spirit into the wilderness. There I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast that had seven heads and ten horns, and blasphemies against God were written all over it. The woman wore purple and scarlet clothing and beautiful jewelry made of gold and precious gems and pearls. In her hand she held a gold goblet full of obscenities and the impurities of her immorality. A mysterious name was written on her forehead, Babylon the Great, mother of all prostitutes and obscenities in the world.